Hi guys, Dan here from VHX411. Today in front of me, I have a Hyundai engine computer, ECU, PCM. And in this video, I will show you how we program the VIN number. Now, a lot of these Hyundai and Kia PCMs or engine computers, Locksmith is able to program the key, but the VIN number cannot be changed. That same goes for the dealer. If it's a used donor that you're trying to install in your vehicle and you had the locksmith or the dealer program the key and can't pass DQ or inspection, it's because their computers can't do it. They're correct, they can't do it. We do this uh, VIN right for some of our local dealers also. So in this video, I will show you how the VIN programming is done. If you do need this service, I will leave a link below. It's gonna be a quick video. I already have everything set up, opened up. I have all my programs ready, so it's not gonna be a long process. Now, before I do the VIN programming, I will make a note. If you have a Kia or a Hyundai, and you think writing the VIN or changing the VIN will make the car start, no, that's not the fact. You do need to have it programmed, the keys programmed, and then writing the VIN because dealer or locksmith can't do it. Now, if you're doing an engine computer swap because your hardware is bad in the computer, it's best to do a full clone, which we also do. Read the original keys, VIN, everything, and paste it to the donor. So that's a separate video, but it will be a similar process if it's a clone service. So if you also need a clone service, also do it. Now, this is a Hyundai, Kia, this is a SIM 2K, this is a 241, a 341 also right after this I'm going to do. So I just decided to make a video on how it's done. Got my Abritas, I'm using Abritas, got my Abritas DS box because this, to read the data, you literally need to have a, a DS box connected and it's gotta be in a boot mode. Now I have my breakout box over here also to have my communication, can communication also through Abritas. This way I will show you the VIN number in it currently and then we're gonna hook up a DS box and then read the flash. All right, first things first, let's power my ignition. We're gonna go to my a Britas right here, and if you can see, when I click read VIN, it reads this VIN right here. So I can go back, boom, that's how fast a Britas reading. This is the VIN, this is a donor vehicle VIN. We want to change it. This, we don't need to <clears throat> pretty much program the keys, we're just doing a VIN programming. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back, and we gotta read these program and data flash. I already read all of these files, but I'll just show you the smaller one, which is the data flash. So let me solder my pinout. Let's see, right here. This is a Britas pinout, so I'm just going to follow the instructions over there. I'm going to short out or make a bridge for my flash read and of course a boot pin right here in this area right here so one there's a two and pin number three so let me get my camera on what i'm gonna do is yeah where's my boot pin it's right here and it's going to be pin number three here's one there's two here is pin number three all right, got that connected, and I'm going to disconnect my OBD. That way we're not interfering here in signals, going all, everything's going through the DS box, and we're going to read data flash. Here's communication. Now these ECUs are locked, so Abritas does unlock, it does it automatically. With some programmers, you kind of have to read the password and then you kind of have to do everything by just locking and unlocking. Finalizing, boom. So I read the information and it says 
program flash is locked, data flash is locked. And of course, we already have the VIN, not VIN, the secret code or password read out of it already. So what we're just gonna do is just read it. See how quick it reads the data flash? Yeah, that's the beauty of uh, Abritus, memory success. Now, program flash takes a while to read, and I'm not even gonna show you. Just save it as read, read. I'll just save it as reread. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up my hex editor and load the files and write the bin. So here's my XHD. I'll load up my file number one. That's gonna be Hyundai. And this is what I'm gonna do, data flash. And that's one file. And I also read the file, which is the programming flash because you need to change them in both right here. So we got them both. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to search. I'm gonna enter the old VIN number that we read, ending in 77. So I'll click find. Now it's right here. I don't have to type anything in. And boom, this is a program flash data right here. And this is the location of our VIN number. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna highlight it and paste my VIN number. That's the VIN number desired right here. I copied, written it down over here, just copied it and pasted it. So this is the program flash. I will save this. Now I'll go back to another file that I pulled up. This is the data flash. You can see right here, data flash. I'll click search. I'll click find. This is the one number that it had. Boom. And I will highlight that area and paste insert. This is the new VIN number. Again, save that. Now, now that we're done saving that data, I'm gonna go and load that data. Now we will need to write both. So we'll just start with a data flash since it's a quicker one. So we'll just click write. I'll click Hyundai and then we'll put back back. This is right here. So this is the data right here back. Bin, data bin, okay. Okay, we're just gonna do the continue. We already have the password. It's gonna communicate and it's gonna erase the area where the bin number was and it's gonna rewrite that data flash bin. Boom, unit successfully programmed. Now, we're gonna go to my program, right here, BSL, program flash. I will click right. I will go to my Hyundai. I will click program flash bin. That's the modified one. All right, delete that data. We, we already have the password. So it will use that password to erase the VIN number area and rewrite it. Now, like I said, if you need a VIN change on a Kia or Hyundai, link below or at the end of the video. Now, some of these flash files have up to 150 VIN number sections and you have to erase and do every single one of them. Also, a lot of these have a checksum, which means the flash file, if you just read and write without correcting the checksum, it will not work. So that's why every single Kia Hyundai ECU is unique and it takes pretty much experience on reading it and writing it. Now, this might take a while since I said it's a program flash file. I will zoom through this in the video and Yep, it's gonna take a while, so I'll just zoom in. I'll put it on when it when we'll be reading the OBD. All right, about five minutes later, unit successfully programmed. That's the program flash. We'll click OK. So we've written the data flash and the program flash. 
Now, what we're gonna do is shut off our power. Let me put on my camera. I will shut off the power. I will connect the OBD portion of it. That way we can read it. And before I do that, I'm gonna remove my boot pin. Power everywhere. Power it on. And we're gonna do it diagonal. So we'll click program flash. Got my power supply, everything connected, double checking. Everything's good. Click info. Boom. There you go. VIN number changed. So I had a 77 before at the end. Now it's the correct VIN number. This is what customer wanted. Let's double check. Yep, that is what customer wanted. And we're just gonna go back. And of course, if uh, you just write a program flash VIN or data flash VIN, it will not work. You have to write both of them. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. If you have the tools and you need the knowledge, I have a couple of videos on VIN programming. I just did one a couple of days ago for Ford VIN program. Otherwise, subscribe, like, share. See you next time.